to bump connect your robots, um, first take the robot you want to be the master module and begin holding down the B button. Then take the robot you want to be the follower and begin holding down that B button. And while holding both B buttons, bump them together. Uh, as soon as you bump them together, you can let go of the buttons and now they've been paired. Uh, after they've been paired, you can press the B button on the master module and you can tell it's the master module because the light's blinking. And you can switch the modes. So currently it's in blue mode, which is pose teaching mode. If you hit the B button, it goes to green mode, which is tilt drive mode. And you can tilt the master module and the follower module will move its wheels. If you press B one more time, it goes into copycat mode, which means you can move the motors on the master module and the follower module will follow the motors. So there you go. Uh, if you press B one more time, it'll go back into post teaching mode. In post teaching mode, you can use the record and play buttons. So you can record this pose and then you can move the motors, record another pose, move the motors in the follower, record that pose. And now if you hit the play button, it will play through those recorded motions on repeat. So there you go. There is your bump connect tutorial. And how do you unpair? Oh, to unpair them. Okay, so let me stop this. Uh, you can either unpair a single follower at a time. So a single mouse master module can actually have multiple followers. Just do the same bump connect. And here I can show you. Let's grab one of these. So here's a fresh robot that's unpaired, and using the same process, I can add it to the group. And the same thing applies. Um, same uh, tilt drive and copycat. To unpair a single follower at a time, just press and hold the A button, and it'll unpair that one module. If you want to unpair everything, if you press and hold the A button on the master module, it'll unpair the entire group. Cool. Cool.